Καλημέρα σε όλους. Good morning to all of you. We are very happy to find ourselves in Greece. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the European the Bullying Network and the Smile of the Child for the wonderful hospitality. It is an honor for me, after being a school counselor for 30 years, to be here today to represent the Cyprus Observatory on School Violence of Pedagogical Institute of Cyprus. In the next few minutes, I will try to briefly go through the main areas of the observatory and by extension the Ministry of Education, Sport and Youth of Cyprus <coughs> is focusing on aiming to empower the teachers to face the ever increasing challenges related to school violence. This is an outline of the areas I will attempt to present. I will begin by explaining the role of COSV the observatory, as one of the departments of the ministry dealing with school violence. Then I will briefly mention the latest actions taken by the Ministry of Education of Cyprus to tackle the increasing incidence of violence and delinquency at schools. <coughs> at the Cyprus Observatory on School Violence, uh, according to our terms of reference, we focus on these five main areas that you can see now on the screen, and I will go through, through one by one. Teachers' training is the most important mission we have. At, uh, at the, as observatory, as it was mentioned before, is a part of the Cyprus Pedagogical Institute, which is the official career for teachers in service training of the Ministry of Education in Cyprus. Our main mission is to offer support to the school staff and strengthen its management teams so that it becomes capable to recognize incidents first of violence and delinquency and to be able to manage them properly following the policies of the ministry which will be explained shortly after. While we recognize that violence and delinquency are social concerns that extend beyond the school environment, we must underline the importance of the school's role in addressing these issues, which is why efforts are made to provide training to teachers as often as possible in a variety of ways. And as you see, uh, we offer school programs, presentations, we have a school-based uh, seminars, and we also uh, have the opportunity to uh, train all the newly promoted uh, to management position teachers. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, on your screen now, you can see the new national strategy on preventing and addressing the school violence and its five pillars. This is a very important role that the observatory carries, is the implementation of the national strategy and the cooperation and the coordination of its action. It was only a few weeks ago, after a scrutinizing procedure, that a new strategy is put forward and has been approved by the Council of Ministers. As you can see, the five basic pillars that the action plan of the new strategy is based on. The aim of the new national strategy is to prevent and address the phenomenon of school violence and delinquency through fostering a safe school climate which promotes a culture of inclusion and cultivation of social skills. The adoption of the holistic approach, as it was one of the main points raised in SAFER project, will ensure the empowerment and active participation of all stakeholders in preventing and dealing with incidents of violence in school. All the previous speakers have mentioned that it's very important, the holistic approach. I also have to mention that very recently, for three consecutive years, we carried out a Pan-Cyprian survey to measure, to try to measure the phenomenon of violence at uh, Cyprus schools. Um, 
This, was ha uh, this happened with a collaboration with the University of Cyprus, aiming to find out the levels of school violence in uh, Cyprus. One of the most important findings of this survey was that uh, well-informed and sensitized teachers contribute to significantly lower rates of violence and delinquency. Drawing on research results, the ministry is moving forward with specific measures already incorporated in the national strategy I mentioned before. <laughs> before. And uh, I heard before that in, in Greece, uh, the smile of the child uh, mentioned that one in three uh, children um, mentioned that they are get bullied. In Cyprus, it was one in five, so it's very similar. The, one of the results of the same survey showed. One of the uh, good practices that we follow and we find it that is, is, very is very nice, especially for the children and the school, is that every year we take a proud to be cooperating with the Ministry of Justice and Public Order and announce a competition aiming to empowering schools in cultivation specific values and in increasing protective factors. At the same time, the competition provides the opportunity to highlight the remarkable work done in schools and to inspire other schools to find solutions to the problems they face. We also believe that these kinds of uh, uh, social uh, uh, opportunities to get out of the schools because the schools make remarkable work, but also in the social media and on the news, we only hear when bad things happen at schools. So we believe that it's time for us to find ways to show what uh, uh, remarkable work is done in schools instead of just uh, showing uh, difficult situations that uh, happen in schools some, some days. Also, we consider the development of synergies with various European and international bodies of high importance. Based on this, the observatory participates as a partner in various European projects, such as uh, SAFER, which was presented before, and is an active, proud member of the European Anti-Bullying Network. I was very glad to hear that Italy also updated their legislation recently, which sounds very similar to the, uh, to the registration that we had uh, uh, just came into force in August 1st, 2024. It might also be uh, uh, in addition to defining the different forms, forms of violence very clearly, the law defines different uh, kinds of violence that happens in school uh, recognize the same at the, sa the law also recognize the same time that the school violence should be addressed as a multifunctional phenomenon that requires the participation of all competent structures and services of the state to prevent and deal with it. It, uh, the law states that uh, all kinds of uh, bullying is a systemic problem. It's not the problem of the child being bullied or for the child that uh, is bullying other children. It's a systemic problem. That it negatively affects the school climate and the school community. The new legislation makes clear that initiatives against school violence should be integrated into school culture and policies, ensuring that they become everyday practices rather than temporary measures. It is also important to mention that with the new legislation, e-school has the obligation to plan specific actions related to violence and delinquency in the context of the improvement plan of, its school, of the school, which will be evaluated on a regular basis. This will ha the, the evaluation will be carried out by the school inspectors. Research shows that effectively policies and interventions, as it was mentioned before, need to be monitored and uh, in order to address uh, the, these complex issues of school violence. Our combats as an observatory 
And the core of all our teachers' trainings that we offer remains the anti-bullying policy of the ministry, which is in, uh, which is in effect since 2016 and was scientifically updated in 2020. The policy applies to all levels of education and has been communicated through a circular titled as Prevention and Management of School Bullying. The Cyprus Ministry of Education recognizes that bullying is one of the most serious form of school violence that takes place within the school framework and implements diligently the policy aimed specifically at prevention and intervention of the, bull of the bullying incidents. We also uh, adopt the no blaming approach and, we, and within the circular, we offer the same help to the child that uh, uh, bullies as uh, the, the attention that the child that gets bullied uh, gets the attention. So the no blame approach is uh, uh, adopted uh, by this policy. It's also very important to mention that um, uh, these measures include strengthening uh, school support systems, uh, the capacity of the school management team to identify and document bullying incidents using an online platform. We think it's very important for all the teachers at schools to be able to recognize recognize the different kinds of school violence and to use the bullying um, uh, word only when it applies to bullying. Uh, we are trying to to help them recognize that they cannot uh, name all kinds of violence that happening in school as bullying. When you use this word, it must be a very serious incidence of bullying that should have the four characteristics of bullying, repetition and the attention to hurt. So this is very important for us. A platform is also currently being created where incidents of all kinds of school violence will be recorded so that the ministry will be able to make informed decisions. This integrated approach aims to create an environment where reporting of violence and delinquency is encouraged because we find out that a lot of, uh, of schools uh, do not register the uh, violence incidents because they think this should not, uh, is not nice for their school. Uh, to be heard that they face a, a school violence in their school. Concluding, we believe there is a need for continuous evaluation and adjustment of policies to improve the school climate. Regular collection of data on the prevalence of school violence, recording of incidences and surveys among students to collect information on trends and areas for improvement is very crucial on developing, on developing and updating the policies. Equally important is to highlight the need for ongoing training and awareness programs for students teachers, parents, and the community to maintain vigilance against school violence. Our goal is to continue forming alliances with community organizations, educational institutions, and local authorities to strengthen efforts against violence, harnessing, and the benefits of sharing resources, expertise, and, and best practices. I will finish with an African proper, uh, proverb that says that the child who is not embraced by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth. We all are responsible not to let any child to feel the cold. Thank you.